Hello, welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video. That is the uh, the Faz, and you know what? It's not completely as. <laughs> yeah, fucking dumb joke. But uh, yeah, we got the Faz here. This is gonna be a pretty old match. Uh, this was around when the XS first came out, and uh, I believe it's with Taru, Nexus, and Fruity Looty Boy. And I believe it was a custom match that I started myself because uh, none none of the other guys that usually start the matches were on. Uh, the start one, uh, so I just went ahead and did it and uh, picked the Faz to see how to do. Um, at this point, I really haven't picked the Faz too much. Uh, for some weird reason, I kept on seeing Fazes being picked in Arctic Base, and uh, just people using it in close range quarters. I'm like, okay, I guess uh, there's something to be used with this suit, at least to to to. Some kind of mid-range to close range. I can see it in mid-range, obviously, but... Yeah, and also it's got this big, giant fuck you cannon, which, uh... Uh, somebody's about to get did done dirty. Uh, like that double Zeta right there, who just... He... If this would have loaded, like... If this was readied up sooner, I just would have fucking fired at him already. He's just standing there and... <laughs> yeah, he, he's just fucking dead like that. Uh... I don't know why he was just sitting out in the open for so long. I guess he just wanted to get some uh, shots off on somebody, but fucking, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> um, also, the uh, the uncharged shot for this thing does a lot of damage. I believe on that Dovin Wolf. Yeah, uncharged, that Dovin Wolf took 4,006 damage. Holy shit. That could be maybe just the Dovin Wolf, because, uh, whew. <laughs> uncharged. I do know that uh, a suits that have more heavy resistances will probably just get like 3,000 something, so that's still 3,000 damage uncharged is pretty good, and if you want the stun, you know, you charge it up. Uh, this thing also comes plenty with, uh, missiles, which, um, uh, they're not, they're just pretty much the double Zeta's missiles, but it has a six fire version of it that shoots out a little bit differently, in my opinion, it just feels different to fire, and, uh, it stuns it way easier. I like those missiles a lot, not the, uh, these rapid fire missiles, really just good for just either suppression or if the enemy just wants to stay in one place and just want to get bombarded, so it's like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna fucking murder you with missiles, slowly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it seems like we're pushing up over here, uh, all, you know how impact side goes, everybody pushes to the left, I want to try and go right, but it turns out our team is starting to slowly pull away, which, if you're gonna push, go ahead and push, uh, <laughs> don't half-ass it, but, uh, you know, since, since probably because they're, uh, XS's, they can't really, they don't want to do too much close range, and of course, the, uh, the ball was gonna be there to, uh, to kick my ass, doing pretty well, uh, laying down damage there, distracting like three of them, I guess, but, uh, our team didn't want to push up, and they will get slowly murderized. <laughs> slowly grinded down. Uh, yeah, the Faz itself is not a bad suit. It's not uh, the best support. Uh, the best support is easily the C1, and I like the C1 way more than the Faz. But the Faz does have some uh, some stuff about it that's pretty good. Uh, I know in my uh, initial thoughts for it and the AG, I focused way more on the AG. Uh, the Faz to me is just a super simple suit to get. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't like about it, but there are some things I do like about it. It does have the damage that I think support should be getting, uh, which is good. Uh, the beam cannon, it, it's okay. Uh, it takes a long time to charge, but you do get shock dampers for it, which the suit does have shock dampers, which is good. Uh, the beam, the beam rifle does, oh, I already said it does pretty good damage. Uh, but for me, it's just too slow. It's too big, too slow. Uh, it has a lot of resistances, though, that you can put on it, so that's good. Uh, it's just a really easy target. And there's a few suits, especially now, now the stuff like the Mark V and the, the O are out, that they can just break your shock dampeners really fast. Uh, I know the O, if you just shoot with your beam rifle and then do your little uh, high-powered beam shots, you'll break a... Uh, uh, I really just forget about the suit I'm playing. The Faz, there we go. You'll break the Faz's uh, 
shock dampeners. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm about to hit the same double Zeta, uh, wherever he may be. Oh, there he is. Uh, time for a good shot. Waiting for a stun, because I keep my eye on him. And uh, there's the stun, and uh, <laughs> 13,000, and uh, yeah, 13,000 health. <laughs> That, that cannon is not to be fucked around with. If you see a fast charging, you're going to have to stop it. Or else uh, you lose a majority of your health. Just like that. It makes it a very scary suit to fight. Or to see at long range. Not really to fight. To fight, it, it's really easy. Um, I went ahead and told, told my teammates to go ahead and get some kills so I can rack up assists. Because honestly, I'm doing enough to get assists. Uh, later on, though, uh, they're gonna start killing people when I, I I need to kill them. But uh, we do fi we do remedy that uh, that problem. And it seems the enemy ace is the Babu. Uh, he must have been kicking ass. Besides mine. Um, but yeah, the fat. Also, another suit that can easily break the the shock dampers is the the Mark V, which it is a raid type. So I guess it's fine for it to do it. And uh, I, I guess that Dovin Wolf was wanting Nexus to kill him. There's plenty of times where I'm out, where I'm low on health. I try to bait the enemy team to uh, to kill me and not the enemy ace. Uh, I guess the Dovin Wolf he was charging straight towards Nexus. He wanted to tackle him, but then his legs broke. And you know what? He's gonna get a beam rifle up his ass. <laughs> and uh, here we go, suppressing this little corner here, keeping them at bay. Uh. Not much for me to do, because I poke my head out, I'm going to get shot by 15 different things. And again, it's pretty easy to for a lot of suits to break the maneuver armor of the Faz at this cost, 650. Actually, yeah, 650, alright. For a second I was thinking 600, but then the, the excesses are here. And I'm trying to kill Taru in the back there with no health, but I just barely miss him. Uh, and it seems like there's two full health here, guys, anyway. It's like, okay, I, I gotta prioritize somewhere else. They told me there's a low health guy over there. I saw him for just a second, and then number four just fucking killed him. Pretty sure he killed somebody else, which, thank you. Um, not like I need those kills right now with this score. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like we're doing a good push. Everyone is pushing forward. I'm hanging back to, uh, to deal with that excess. Last minute of the match. Uh, yeah, I believe earlier I was shooting at an excess, I forgot to comment on it, where, uh, his little chest eye field activated, and he got away pretty scot-free. He took, like, 1,000 damage from my fully charged beam rifle shot, 1,900, which, that's almost 2,000, but still, that's a hefty amount of damage it, uh, it absorbed, which, uh, man, that make, that can make the excess scary, but the thing is, you only have to aim around the chest area. A lot of people aim for the legs anyway, so... Uh, kind of makes the chest eye feel just like just in case kind of thing, you know. <laughs> if the enemy's panicking, they're trying to get a shot in, and uh, hey, you're gonna finish off the Vulcans, which I didn't mention the Vulcans. The Vulcans are okay, and uh, here I tried to stop the Bawu and maybe get myself some vulnerability, but uh, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is a timeout, and. Yeah, mission complete. We were winning. I believe we're going to stay winning. Um, yeah, by only a few hundred points. Ooh. And hey, top damage, top individual, and top assist, too. Awesome. And I believe I get, like, first place, second place. I think I rival the Taru. Yeah, first place, five and two. Uh, not too bad at all with the, uh, the Faz, which... Man, the Faz is... It's a decent suit. I've already mentioned that it's not uh, not my favorite. It's not uh, C1's my favorite support because actually it just feels like a suit you can play. The Faz, I I think when I one of my main problems with a lot of supports is they feel like just walking tanks. Um, sometimes without the tank part, and that's what the Faz feels like. It's just super slow, but it does a lot of damage. I want my suits to feel like the other suits in the game. <laughs> You know, the, the C1 has the, the forced injectors that can fly. It has a lot of combo potential. It feels really nice to handle. Uh, completely different from other supports. I really wish, or I really hope, my bad. I really hope whenever 
uh, the devs, whenever they start nerfing and buffing, if they look at the rating and they see the C1 is just being picked a lot, I really hope they don't change the C1 because of that. It should be the other way around when they start changing supports to be up with the C1 because the C1 is it's a, it's a gold standard. It's not like the Cubile where the double Zeta came out and it was a it was a fine suit and then the Cubile came out and it just overtook it immediately. And then every other suit that would come out at that cost, the Cubile just told it no. <laughs> just no. So uh, hopefully they, they look at the C1, either like win rate or damage or whatever they like to look at. And it's just because the C1's a good suit uh, that it, it needs to be chosen. Because there are a lot of supports. Well, before the FAS and the uh, the C1, I was very uh, I was advocating a lot for uh, high cost supports. Uh, fuck the Schwartzum Diaz. I always got to mention that when I mention bad supports. Fuck the Schwartzum Diaz. Even though it's a little bit better now, but still. <laughs> But, you know, they did listen, and then we, we actually got a, a a handful of them. I think, like, four in a row, really. You know, we had the uh, the Faz, the, C, the C1, the Type 2 loadout Zeku Ainz that came with the, the Type 3. Um, and then the Draw C Heavy, which I think the Draw C Heavy is the worst of the, the, the group. But uh, it was still different, you know. It was still fun. Well, I can't really say that was a high cost support. My bad. I'll just leave it at the three: the the Faz, the Zeku Ainz Type Two loadout, and the uh, the C One. I'm trying to remember. If there's another one. Uh, the Hamahama was before that, so I can't really put the Hamahama in there. Before that, the Hamahama was actually the best support before the C One. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's glad that we uh, have some good supports here. And the Faz is definitely one of them. The Faz is not as, <laughs> uh, and you know, if you wanna, if you have it, um, you know, what do you guys do with it? Do you guys make it super tanky? Uh, I know the Beam Saber on it is effectively useless unless you just want to get a stun and downswing off. Uh, I haven't seen too many uh, Fazes treat their suit like a close. Oh, I see them treat their suit like a close range suit, but they don't really really do the melee. I don't know why I keep seeing them use fa people that play faz use the faz and arctic base and almost every single time it goes wrong for them because <laughs> they get left behind because you know we have to do the counterclockwise bullshit which i hate that so much for arctic base <clears throat> if i could stay behind i probably i would but i would get killed too uh <laughs> it, the faz is just gonna have to be bait that's just how all supports are gonna have to play on arctic base is be the bait uh but, you know, it, it is pretty good in, in maps like Impact Site and, uh, obviously s maps like Desert, uh, maybe even, uh, Abandoned City because of, uh, it's, it's got good damage and it's long range. Uh, the missiles help for, uh, poking and prodding at people. Pretty good backup, backline suit to have. Uh, honestly though, I kind of like the, uh, the way the, oh, what is it called? The Full Armor 7th Gundam is. Which, uh, I like the the cannon on it, and uh, the way it charges faster. It's still slow, but it's faster than the phases. And you still get some pretty pretty chunky damage with it. And of course, it's grenade launchers and all that. I think it's a more effective kind of uh, support that can go for all ranges, you know? But uh, that's just me. And uh, hey, that's going to be in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, uh, type up in the comment section, uh, you know... How you feel about the Faz? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I like the Faz. Uh, I'll say again for like the third time. It's not my favorite suit. My favorite support. But I know there's plenty of people that prefer the Faz over the uh, something like the C1 because of the shock dampeners and uh, all that good jazz. And of course, the the, the the insane amount of damage you can honestly pull off of this thing. Again, you saw on that map an uncharged. Uh, Shot did 4,000 damage to a Dovin Wolf. Uh, <laughs> that might have been a 600 Dovin Wolf, who knows, but that's still a lot of fucking damage. And uh, you saw it did like 3,000 against some uh, excesses if I didn't shoot them in the chest, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's got damage potential. You just have to be careful because I think you have zero, yeah, zero melee resistance, so uh, just don't get touched, even by a general. Uh, but yeah, with that, I'll see you guys later.
decided to come for me. Goodbye. I am so sorry to that double Zeta. I am so sorry. Who was that? <laughs> what? He had over half his fucking health! <laughs> What's number four doing? What's... Magic. Oh, he's... No, he's fighting someone in the tunnel. <laughs> <But there's another laughs> oh my god, so that's sick. Zeta! <laughs> oh.